Hi Gemini, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does, I will have an extended at the end of this video. It is in the description box below. Here I will view all the energies for mid-month. I will uh, see about the energies of the person that is on your mind and who is this person coming towards you in the near future. Let's start. First, let's shuffle the deck four times. Okay, what is the overall energy? Let's start with that. Two of Cups, a very good energy, in fact. Around you, there's a, a strong connection. Now, you may rebuild something from the past that was a soulmate connection, or you are towards a soulmate connection. It is a loving energy, stable, and I'm getting that it is both great friendship and great love at the same time. So, great love, great friendship, very great chemistry there. So, very good energy. Let's see what we have else at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups. Possibly. Okay, I have both here. I have both a new potential, a new relationship for you with that Ace of Cups. A person that has a crush on you and maybe you have created a friendship with them or will create soon and it will start like that and this has been very this person has been very hesitant to talk and communicate let's see what do we have okay i'm getting possibly a new connection Possibly a new connection, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it can be any sign. But mostly it seems like a water element. Starting with what is affecting you right now in your subconscious. Page of Swords. You keep watching or wanting to know about somebody of the past. You want to know if they have matured, if they have leveled up, if they are more serious and committed. The attraction is there, but uh, the connection was highly heavy, stressful and dramatic. There may have been problems with communication as well, and they may have not been very mature with their words. Uh, this kind of things may be affecting you in your subconscious at this moment. But what was the challenge in the past? Five of Pentacles. This connection felt you drained emotionally, energetically. Maybe you were in a relationship and feeling like you were not in a relationship, like you were better by being by yourself because they were not giving that much or it was just making you feel alone in that relationship. That kind of energy. Something happened there that broke your trust. I think you had big dreams here about long-term happy commitment. Some of you were married and had created a family. Take what resonates, but with that Five of Pentacles, it, it left a bad taste. How do you view this situation with this person? The tower, you think you got information, you got more clarity. And the main thing was that it was not stable and solid in its foundation. It came as a big surprise to you, but now you see that castle of love being attacked and... Uh, broken and shattered somehow even though you do still keep thinking about them because i see you still having feelings and you want to know if they will talk or if the communication will happen with this person now the world card you want success that final stage in a relationship now if you are still having feelings and i think you do about this person but you are in a more better energetic level here, more stable emotionally. I think not so much affected by them from now on, but you still have some... Your trust has been 
affect it for them. One side of you wants to see that connection successful and uh, yes, you want to hope for the best there. I have fixed signs as well here. So Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus and Leo. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo and Scorpio. Maybe you were dealing with a person with uh, those zodiac signs. Or Scorpio is emphasized here. They may have had many placements in Scorpio as well. You have a fear that it may have ended. And if it is the case, you want to know the truth. Because if this is true, nothing can be done to restore it. Or there's only one option. That's much more difficult. It, uh, if you are back together, this connection should be better. Completely different, in fact, in every aspect. A reborn, transformed kind of connection. But uh, you will meet each other at a different energetic level for this to happen. And you at this position of reflecting and not wanting to deal anymore with repeating the same mistakes. You want to be aware that if there was a new beginning with them, it would be a better one without those challenges of the past. You think about that a lot. You have been hurt deeply. Three of swords, three of cups, possibly a third party situation for a small minority. But let's see what are the current energies. I think you will be meeting somebody that is a fire sign. And it is a faded event. It may seem sudden, but it is a good one. This person does have attraction. It is a queen of wands. A person that is much stable but does have attraction for you. A new beginning, I think. Around you there's a new beginning. That's why I'm connecting this Two of Cups, Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. A new uh, beginning in love. Very intensive. You are meant to meet each other and try here. Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords. One of you is coming from a very heartbreaking uh, relationship and this person, it may be you or them, puts lots of thoughts when they want to start a new connection. But I see lots of intensity here. I think despite all those uh, self-doubts and uh, trust, issues. There's lots of attraction that will serve as the fuel to start this, to try it. Now, let's see who is this person coming towards you. Eight of Pentacles. It's, this person is a very hard worker. Maybe an, they have Earth as well. Two of Swords. Okay. They want to talk to you. And this communication may happen very fast. I think this is the past person as well. That Not the past person. This is the person that has been heartbroken deeply from their previous relationship. And that's why they are a bit unsure if they, they should work on this connection. But they do have attraction. And they have this impulse to try and talk. And the communication will happen. That's what I'm getting here. Even though I see them indecisive, there's a higher chance that they will take that leap of faith and try to connect with you. A very hard worker, a person that may be a perfectionist, wants a, a perfect connection. Now let's see about the person that is currently on your mind. Let's see. What about their energies? But before jumping to them, if you're liking this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe because I post videos every day and you can 
hit that notification bell icon to get notified of the daily videos. Now let's continue with the person on your mind. What about their energies? They are acting cold, but they have feelings. Yes, they do have feelings for you. They want to get attention from you. They are upset about something. They are paranoid about what may have happened really in the past. Maybe they don't know the whole truth. They want to talk. They are just confused that you are not reaching out. They are putting a pause at this. So, what you are really not seeing here is that they have feelings, they want to talk. What you may be seeing here is a person that is distanced, cold, detached. But they are just worried, confused. And especially confused why you are not giving them attention. They do have attraction for you. But they are keeping the silence and keeping the distance. Now, if this reading resonates resonated with you, I will continue this with the extended video. It is in the description box below. Also, I want to view about this person here, the, the person that is coming towards you. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Two of Swords. Let's see about them as well. They may be this past person or a new person. Possibly I'm getting a new person uh, that has some similar energies to the past person. So past person wants to make that connection better. The new person has attraction but is not quite confident because they, are, they have some baggage from the past. Now, see you the next reading. Thank you for watching and bye for now.